seem to be swimming in a pool of shit. <laughs> All right, sound speed. Hey, welcome Hello. to Backsliders. Listeners, we're here with our friend Michael Broccolini. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your Italian last name? I don't know how to say it. It's Boccolini. 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 I was super close. That was close. And you just had an art, which is much nicer and an actual thing. Yes, yes, yes. It's a very delicious thing. It is. High in calcium and protein. That's right. Did I I include it? No, I'm good. Um, Hey. Hello. This is fun because we haven't seen you in a long time. In a very long time. And also, we've only. Since you've been with child. Since yeah, I've been with child. I think I announced. I think I just found out. Oh, very. You just found out that you. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a shame for the baby. No, uh, when I was here last time, I just found out that we were we were pregnant. Yes, that's, that's always wild. been a thing. That as a kid, I was like, why why are we pregnant? But I get it now. No, no, I mean, it's... we were definitely pregnant. I mean, <laughs> I didn't do anything, and she had to uh, suffer, uh, which I didn't. Uh, Except for the joy of childbirth, the joy of child. I was there, man. Yeah, you watched it. All all everything. Yeah. How did you feel? Great. Um, I felt useless. Yeah. Well, you are. Thank you. In that, I mean, what are you gonna do? You can't. Well, that's the that was the worst part. Is like I was like, oh, it's gonna be okay, and she looked at me like, you don't know. Yeah. And then I was like, You don't know what okay is. Yeah. (laughs) And then I was like, okay, then I won't say anything. And then she looked at me, how dare you not say anything? Yeah. So I was just like, I understand. Petting your head and making. I mean, I don't, but I do. You'll, I guess you'll. Maybe. I don't know. I I mean, I've watched a couple of births. Yeah. Which is kind of the same. It's a lot. It was intense. What was interesting is that she couldn't see what was happening. She could only feel it, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Yeah. Why her. do they hide it from her? You don't want to see your vagina right now. I, I, I mean... It's stellar, man. <laughs> it's I've seen than- childbirth as a kid. <laughs> I was homeschooled. It was like a weird and, uh, homeschool thing. One of the other homeschool okay. moms was on her ninth child. And so my mom was like, well, we should bring in all the other eight children and right. my son and they should watch it as an educational experience. Oh, you were in the, okay. Because they did it at home. It was like a midwife experience. Yeah. Wow. So, but how close? <laughs> like a front row seat, like at the really? foot of the bed. Yeah. So they were like, sorry, you can't you get popcorn. away? You popcorn. <laughs> yeah. It, they like woke us up. It was in the middle of the night, you no. know, like wow. we were all sleeping in the living room and then they're like, hey, it's time. She's finally crowning. <laughs> So you guys knew it was coming. You were like, there's going to be a field trip any day now. Yeah, we had a sleepover at the house waiting for the baby to come. Yeah. Wow. But that, and so how did you, what was the experience? I know what it looks like. Okay. Like, were you You grossed out? No, I wasn't grossed out. I was just like, you you know, wide eyed, you know, just like, holy shit, that's a head coming out of a person. I mean, it's miraculous that like new human beings come out of women. Yeah. That they grow inside of our bodies uh-huh, and yeah. then they arrive on the planet. And yeah. like, where were they before? Yeah. Anyway, go back to like Which what that the, was like for you the as same a parent. Thing I was thinking about is death. That's probably where we're going to go. Maybe. Where, where are we, we going to go? We're where we go? were before. Oh, Maybe. Oh, yes. You know I mean, we mean? can't. Yeah, exactly. We can't know for sure. Also, another thing about that, I realized at that moment that if men were responsible for childbirth, humanity would just be extinct. Mm. Yeah, I think pe- I think men have said that before. I, and I don't know what it is about um, women that I just don't think we have. Oh, we're like, oh, we, we're tough. We couldn't have handled no, that. No, no. I think have pain you seen, threshold, right? Have you seen? Um, sorry, it's the pain threshold that we don't have. It is. I'm. I'm sorry, but I'm like when I go to the bathroom and I take massive shit. I'm <laughs> proud. Uh huh. And that's not even close. <laughs> You're proud of, of yourself. Course not. Yeah, sometimes I want to take a picture. So. You did that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But again, <laughs> like not you made the it through same. that. Have yeah. you seen Fleabag? I have. It's perfect. But I think that there's a scene in the second season. I don't season. know if he, if he agrees. <laughs> no, I love. I you lo- don't have no, to agree. It's no, perfect. No, no, I love Fleabag. Um, but I think that there is a scene. I don't remember who she's talking to. She's in a bar and I don't know what the context of the character was, but they're talking about how women have had to suffer like our whole lives. So it's like, we just have this like strength and resilience. Like pain is a part of being a woman. Like from the time we're 11 or whenever we experience puberty, it's, it's painful, like cramps and Mm. bleeding. Like it's a part of our existence. We just like, 
it's so normal for us. And I think that like that has to be because like we are responsible for if, if you choose to have a child, like it's on you. It's not yeah. like a, a, an experience that's shared or like you no. choose who gets to have it. I think there's something very awesome about women. Yeah, me too. There's no doubt. There's, I mean, the pregnancy alone is just absolutely insane. What you cannot do, uh, the patients you need to have, and the fact that if they complain, other people like the first two times, you're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then after a while, you could tell that some people were like, they weren't like, stop complaining, but you could tell like, all right, I'm sure it's not that bad. Mm. And then she just kind of had to change her attitude and 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 uh, uh, just like be even stronger. And I saw all of this and I was like, I would have broken down mm. several times. And she didn't. She even apologized when her water broke. That's to how. Well. <laughs> first to me at home. <laughs> and then and then more water came out oh. at the hospital. And she's like, I'm so sorry. And they were like, you're, it's fine. This is supposed to happen. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No, but I get like, we're, women are also, not that I'm speaking for all women, but I can relate to that. Like, That's we're an, yeah. very much like used to saying sorry for like existing or like minor yeah. things. Like yeah. there's something, I don't know how she grew up, but like as a Christian girl, very much my experience was like, be pleasing, be nice. So well, she's a daughter of a pastor. Okay. Right. So yeah, yeah maybe so. she's- We'll get into that. that too. All right, cool. <laughs> Wait, I'm noticing a ring. Is this new? Did Is we that? know about this? Hang on. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Are you married? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I didn't send the invite. No, so- um, no, that's fine. So basically, both of us- um, we made a decision very early. <laughs> We're not going to get married, we said. And <laughs> then... Um, very early in the relationship or like even when you Very got early in the relationship. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay. You Bye. guys were like, we don't want to do it. What's the point? We don't want to do it. So her reasoning was she's been married before. Uh-huh. Okay. Didn't work out. She went through a lot. Oh my God, I don't know what I can say, uh, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> Because why not? I'm really sorry. So basically, when she got a divorce, I don't think it was very easy for her in the environment she was in. Mm. To, religiously? Religiously. Yeah, yeah. With, and more so, I think she was like, oh, it's a disappointment for me. But then hearing it from other people, it was like, oh, okay. Like double painful. That's like to a pain that she couldn't even process it. She was just trying to maintain her own dignity. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, no more marriage. Never want to get married. I don't want to suffer that shame twice. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, the, and for me, I've, I mean, I've, no one's ever been religious, um, <laughs> in my family. I'm from, um, I'm half Italian, half Swedish, but I grew up in France and Norway, which mm. are quite secular countries. Okay. Um, so I've never had a relationship to it. And then all of the married people around me since I was a child just got loads of divorces. Yeah. So um, would you say like the the secular nature of the places you grew up, yeah. just marriage wasn't as common? So you would still have the marriage, but uh, it was more like, oh, this is this is fun. So you could you could get a divorce and, uh, and be like, sure you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. And Italy is like left, right and center. Yeah. Um, but I think, but they still got married, but it was more like a traditional thing. Uh-huh. I think our generation, my generation... Uh, in a secular country, country like that, it's still some of them get married, but more of them are like, hang on, but why are we doing it now? Yeah. So so a lot of people don't necessarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also I just saw all these people getting divorced. So I was like, if I find someone I love, mm-hmm. why would the first thing I wanted to do was to potentially tell each other a promise that would ruin it? Yeah, like set yourself up for failure. Exactly. So I was just thinking, why don't we just be... I, I love the idea of being boyfriend-girlfriend at Kurt 90. Kurt Goldie Hawn style. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, Ricky Gervais, they've been together oh. for like 25, 30 years, boyfriend-girlfriend. Oh, okay. And I was like, this is great. Anyway, getting back to that. So she was like, I don't want to get married. I was like, wow, amazing. My father's a pastor. Sorry? Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, how is that going to... Fine. Don't worry about it. And 
we were with we were with child and and how quickly did, if you don't mind me asking in the timeline of your relationship did this child happen uh quickly yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a surprise pre- premarital sex well, was occurring <laughs> <laughs> yes i heard that a lot lately. um Quickly. We understand that you uh, experienced premarital sex with our daughter, but um, we would still like for you to s- solidify your union with her. Let him tell it. <laughs> I mean, it's like word for word. Um, not as happy. <laughs> we're a lot more positive. Um, so there were threats thrown your way? or were just No, the you know what? I just want to say this. They are amazing people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're going to listen to this. They're, no, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no, Micah. they are genuinely amazing. So this is the thing I've, when we sat down, I'm very honest, honest about this. Uh, okay. So when we sat down, I think we kind of looked at each other and we said, I know where you come from and we know where you're coming from. Okay. Um, we appreciate that, mm. but the life we live as in them is just has some rules and things we cannot kind of avoid. Mm. However, um, they both said, if you don't want to get married, you won't. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, It would make us very happy if you did. (laughs) Uh, But it wasn't a threat. It was, that's the thing that I really appreciate with them. And I understand where they're coming from. For for them, it's like, well, this is not cool. Mm. Mm. But not to be a dick to you, but just like, I, I'm worried about you as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because of a what cons- I believe. A concern. Yeah. Exactly. So fair enough. And then they're like, oh, and then I was like, yeah, but I don't believe. And they're like, oh, f- f- all right, well then don't do it. Just like stay around at least. And then I started understanding, okay, they just care about their daughter with the belief system they, they have. They just want you to stay around. Which is totally fair. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Which you're like. I do too. And to them, right? You want to yes, know your child. The, Absolutely. The marriage would be that commitment that would keep you in around. Yes. And, and that was the, when we actually decided to get married, which was a f- little bit for them, but also a little bit for me in terms of like, it would make it easier because then otherwise we would maybe have to go back to Europe. I was just going to go mm. back and forth for mm-hmm. a while can't go back and forth with a baby mm-hmm. and definitely not in a pregnancy. So now, okay, are we moving to back to Europe together? Or am mm-hmm. I staying here? I didn't want to take her f- from her family. And also I do want to try and uh, make it. Uh, you guys are trying to make it as well, right? Yes. yes. Oh, well, cool. I thought like it would be cool to make right? it. Right? What's know. that? What is making I'll consider it? it. We're, we made it. We're right not? here. We're Look at here us. on the We're couch. Live. Okay. Hello, we've made it. Discussing life on a couch, which is delightful, by the way. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Th- yeah, we love having you. I the have couch a couch or the conversation. Everything. <laughs> this couch is old. Um, I have a couple of questions. So, was this like there was like one big conversation about this in which, if I'm understanding your story correctly. Yes. There was kind of like a come to Jesus, like, what's the plan? I can't believe this is what it ended up being, this thing. Um, <laughs> but you mean yes, the podcast? Yeah. Oh, did not this is exactly it. why we I know, no, 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 I know, I know, but I, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool. And then I was like, oh, wait, a big part of my life recently is about this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there was a big conversation initially when we told them about it. Yeah. Um, so you've never, you, no one in your family was religious oh, yeah. and you've never, no. like, this was your first time being in a situation where you were going to be looked at and maybe judged through a totally religious lens. Yeah. Were you prepared for that? Did she like warn you? But they didn't because oh. they, they respected and that's what they do. They respect anyone for whatever belief they have. Yeah. That's great. Um, every that's beautiful. T- every time we're in a restaurant or we're having dinner, they always ask to someone that maybe isn't Christian, is it okay if we pray? Mm. Yeah. Um, and you're like, hell no. And I'm like, it, it makes <laughs> me sick. And I leave. No. And, <laughs> and, and that's the beauty of them is that um, it's based for everyone. This mm. specific situation <laughs> is that I kind of infiltrated like a virus into their family. So they're like, let's, let's, you know, let's have uh, a Tylenol. What, what, is, what is the virus that you have? Are you atheist? 
<laughs> Can we speak of these things? <laughs> or agnostic or or whatever. Because I want to get into the fact that I feel like on a conversation on our front porch one time, mm. you were speaking of the importance of mm. maybe some religious undertones that were coming back to the UK. Yes. Uh, I don't know to UK, but definitely for me okay. personally, and especially now that I've been with them, um, there is no doubt that I'm like, uh, okay, so I've been obsessed with like, challenging things mm -hmm. okay so my father was like at six he was left in a in a convent uh, my grandma took him to like a convent uh, mm -hmm. to, like a church it's like hey i'm just gonna get some cigarettes i'll be back in five minutes left him there for like 16 years mm -hmm. um wow. and he was raised with nuns and he was god fearing but pretty much hated anything mm -hmm. that represented religion oh, well, yeah uh, my mom is just like, let's just have fun, kind of a woman. Mm. And she's like, sure. Like now <laughs> with her parents, she's like, I think I'm going to be Christian. It's like, that's not how it works mm -hmm. because you're having fun. Um, so <laughs> because of that, I was like, okay, well then maybe it's not true. So then when I would meet someone that, oh, it is true, then I would go, okay, let, well, let's have a look at it. And then I would read the Bible and then straight away there would be a couple of things. Like for example... Then on the last day, he created light. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, but hang on, the sun. The sun was before Earth. Mm -hmm. And then, and stuff like that. And I then, hadn't even thought about that one, but good one. Right, sorry. Good point. <laughs> and then another one, which was, but what if I was born in India? I love that one. Uh, Keep going. So basically, yeah. and also it's like, <laughs> I never said this to, to anyone that is a religious leader that goes like, ooh. But what I want to say is, but the only the thing that we have in common is that there's about 3,000 religions in mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. And we do not believe in, I don't believe in any of them. You mm -hmm. don't believe in 2,999 of them. Right, right, right. That's, yeah. Um, so, and I was just obsessed with that. And then I meet these, this family. Uh, which is the first time I'm really feeling someone that's religious. I understand them and I have to um, share uh, my everyday life, which I love doing. And then I start understanding them a little bit more. And then I see their life and then I see how they look at life. And then I go, oh, well, I'm a, I complain a lot mm. compared to them. They seem to enjoy things. They sh seem to appreciate things mm -hmm. a lot more. And then I go, and sometimes he, uh, my wife's father, kind of just tells me when we're on the verge of talking about is it real or not, is religion real, then he kind of just goes, I want to believe it. In a way that mm -hmm. it's not like he's saying that it's not true, mm -hmm. but he's just like, I'm not dipping into that pool. Mm-hmm. Which, and that was a pool of righteousness that I would just like swim in and just dive mm -hmm. in and love to be in. And just like, oh, let me challenge you. Let mm -hmm. me challenge anyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I'm realizing, well, who cares uh, about necessarily being right? And then what is being right? And I don't know. And then I look back at things. Maybe I wasn't. So at the moment, I can, okay, I can still not. Um, there's still a lot I just can't fuck with. Yeah. In, in the in the term in concerning like Christianity or religion in general. Uh, religion in general. Right. Sure. Anything that is mm, anything specific. Like literal yeah. yes. interpretations. So it's like we love thy neighbor. Everything's cool. Well, I'm gay. Well, then get out. Right. That right, one right. I like. So. Uh, these small little things. I when still people think. are speaking on behalf of God. Ooh, that's tough for me. Yeah. That's pretty tough. Or like I setting the limitations the on The challenge his love. within Christianity is that they do believe that the word is, is, is God's words. Yes. Um, he, he sounds confused then. Little bit. Also, it's been it's been translated and interpreted. We're not yeah. reading original text, and there's, there's also like the historical context, right. all of that. I think it's one very cool that it seems like they're very loving, accepting people. Very. From what you're saying, yeah. and also it's cool 
that your father-in-law can be the type of honest person to be like, I want to believe this. Cause I do think that's a big part of like yeah. being a person of faith is like, there's a desire yeah. to, to stay loyal and faithful to yes. a, a belief system that has probably added a lot of good to their life or yes. given them purpose and community and family and um, something to live for. And I think that's, respectable and, and honorable. other people that aren't even religious that they've helped that haven't even thought about that what mm -hmm. they are going through what they believe in and they don't ask for anything back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and most atheists i feel that's like one of the first things that we do is that we want to be heard because mm -hmm. we're right so then and also look at me mm. <laughs> look how smart i am look how smart i am and that. I feel like atheism is just as declarative. Yeah. It's there's a certainty it, in atheism yes. and also it's in very religious people that is very common. Like 100%. I mean I don't know if the same, an, similar. I don't know if there's an atheistic book, but they don't need one because it's just like, <laughs> it's no. True. Yeah, exactly. It's like, there's one word in it. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <think> so. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, maybe wrong. <laughs> I think it was Dane Cook, Dane Cook was like, what do you say to an atheist if he sneezes? And it's like, instead of God bless you, it's like nothing happens when you die. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's. That meant nothing to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who are you? So do you feel like you're less of a hardcore atheist now? Like, yeah. do you identify as agnostic or are you like, I don't know, or are you, you open for possibilities? I'm open for, so I was, then I started thinking about, Oh, there's 3000 religions. Now I, I feel for me, I know there is more than 3000 religions. There's about <laughs> how many people, <laughs> man, you kind of took, how many people are we on this earth? Seven billion? I don't know the billions. It's billions, six or seven or... Six. Well, that's how many belief systems I think there are. I agree with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that everybody has their own way of yeah. at some point hopefully connecting to an understanding of why they're here. Yeah. Yeah. I and think... it could be in that last like fading light they see. <laughs> they see... Oh, I actually, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but also, I, be I believe in the law of attraction. mm and this is interesting to me. Mm. So you absolutely believe in it. That I apps. <sighs> That's very woo-woo of you. Wow, look at you. Very so LA. 100%. But I did this, but I, I've done this for a long time. I think I did this as a kid and then I kind of forgot about it. And then recently I was like, oh yeah, just whatever you, you just feel it and then you work really hard for it, obviously, but you just feel it and you look at it and then it will happen. Good and bad. Mm, Good yeah. and bad. And what's interesting for me with religion, when I was a full-blown atheist, I was like, oh, well, that's how sometimes prayer work. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Because even when you were an atheist, you believed in the law of attraction. Yes. And then, I start, oh, and, and then when I got deeper into it, I realized that you can't really, with the law of attraction, you can't go, please don't make me poor. D please don't Yeah, because you're focusing poor. on poor. Because you're still thinking poor, about poor. poor. And that's when, okay, well, sometimes when you pray, it doesn't work. So then I thought, okay, then maybe it has something to do with that. But anyway, now I, I just don't want to label anything anymore. It's so exhausting. And it doesn't I matter. Yeah. 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 Um, I think people get so caught up in labeling, yeah. which still like goes back to like a need to be perceived as right yeah. or accepted. Yeah. And yeah, I'm over that too. Because I think like the healthiest thing we can all do as humans to be like, I don't really know. And that's okay. And yeah. it's really I don't nice. have to be right. Yeah. And uh, to let go of certainty. And I think that in itself like can be a belief. Yeah. Like to be open and to be like, you know, there's a lot of possibilities out there. And yeah. I, I don't know for certain. Yeah. I think it's a very strong faith in itself. Hmm. Just relinquishing the desire to be able to point to something and say like i know this right and be like i don't know and it feels quite and mature okay. in a way yeah yeah <laughs> and it feels like when you're in your 20s you're like oh i need to figure this out and you're a liar and i'm this and you're you know what <laughs> yeah, i mean like yeah, it's, yeah. and then 30s you're like oh mom you oh it was your fault 
you know, <laughs> and dad, ah, oh, you shouldn't have that. And then I'm hoping that towards the forties, it's just like, I don't care. But I'm already feeling that a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But in a good way. In a good How way. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the, the older old people. 34. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. 33. Almost. Okay. Almost 33. Oh, sorry. Uh, almo- I did almost 34. In oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I just, that's how mature you are. <laughs> one, one year, year, one year yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Dude, 34. Take it. Something yeah. happens. Between 33 and 30. I think people think I'm younger than I am. So what is my problem? Who? How, do you know how old no, he is? Just... <laughs> no, no. 22. Wait. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, you are, I think I, re- no, you, yeah, you are younger than I thought you were going to be because I remember this, but you are definitely over 30 uh-huh. and you are 30 like me you're 33 five five that's like you round that up to 40 that's one year older than your maturity level yeah so you <laughs> wow. should respect him <laughs> no but that's the thing because i was like oh man he's really mature for a young looking guy <laughs> but just for a young guy is what i thought yeah. anyway yeah. okay that's good yeah see i got this yeah that's like you can't hide i'm like I trying eat well, to, you know, your wisdom. work out. The Sleep bald well. spot? Yeah. Sure. Hey. <laughs> bald is the new gray. Oh, I, I was. That. I did have a question. <laughs> we, uh, it's new Clooney. So we've watched The Law of Attraction. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like <clears throat> we've both gone through phases of like really being the secret people. Law right, of Attraction right. stuff. But now I do feel like there is a serendipity that happens when you believe in something and have a vision for it and work really hard for it. Mm -hmm. But I don't necessarily believe that like people who under like have to endure terrible tragedies Mm. attracted that. Mm -hmm. So that's like my one bump with that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not attacking you. I'm just saying like, that's where I had another. And I've heard somebody defend the tsunamis as being like, (laughs) well, you know, these people just gathered in a certain area because they sucked, you know, like, which kind of like like, (gasps) sounds similar to like Christians being like, well, it's God's plan. And it's like, really? Like these terrible things (laughs) that happened to innocent people. I think Dave Chappelle was like in response to the secret. He was like, uh, what about the four year old girls with AIDS in Africa? And he was like, well, honey, you just didn't visualize the sports car well enough. And it's like, what? Uh, and I agree. Yeah. I- However, what I would say is that there's a lot of laws that um, come into play. And the law of it is, is because that's the other thing is that when the law of trying to get, oh, it's just this. Right, this mm-hmm. one law. There's loads of laws. Right. And I think it like will... Like religion. Yes, and it will happen. I did an experiment between I was 20 and 25. What happens if I do nothing? Guess what happened? Nothing. Nothing? Uh, very much. And I bet you felt like shit, kind you of. You decided Thank to you. waste I four did. years of your <laughs> life did. for an experiment. Wow, what a bold... <laughs> Thanks you for know. your service. Wow, did, did you, you win did a you prize? report to Oxford? <laughs> Which was a 24 year old reports <laughs> <laughs> in my underwear. They weren't interested, Aww. which I thought they weren't interested in the first year. <laughs> <laughs> Update still nothing going on. <laughs> st- still depressed. You guys haven't given me a contract yet. But you know how much nothing it was that I couldn't even get. Every morning I was like, I'm going to go to Oxford and let them know. And then about 11 o'clock and I had a join. I was like, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Yeah. In the high years. You proved yourself yeah. right. Thank you. But see, this is the part of it that I do agree with. You know, I think like the law of attraction like allows you to um, like it gives you good practices. You know what I mean? Like if I'm more positive and I'm more optimistic and I, you know, am more likely to do the the habits that I want to do each yeah. day, then, yeah, I'm definitely setting myself up for success because I'm incrementally doing the things every day that I need to be doing. Yes. And I'm also preparing myself mentally. It's like Tiger Woods playing the golf course before he plays it. Yes. I'm mentally have already gone there and I've already won. Right. Right. Yes. So I definitely agree with that. Yeah. I think that I I don't know about the woo news of it if I just sit home and like meditate. That's all and you I'm do. Like, maybe not just that, but like I don't know how much time I want to spend just being like, no, no. I'm going to get a car that's so big. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, when you met it, and it has to be like my, the nostril and the anus has yeah. to be like perfect. And I do I, that one though, but I, do, I, I don't focus on a car. We should do that together. <laughs> yeah. No, but I don't think, um, 
I think you're doing it right now. In a oh, way, interesting. No? Yeah, no, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. And I, um, especially, no, all due respect, especially this one. Yeah, she's way good. <laughs> oh, why? Why me? Just because you can tell that you just have a goal and you're just doing it. Oh, because I talk about it on social media? No, but that's just your attitude from the times we meet as well. Aww. It's just because I think I'm closer to him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, a we little do- skeptic. And you guys. Well, also, we're lazy, maybe, a little bit. To a certain, yeah, well... Wow. No, not lazy, but I think there's an element of... There's resistance going on A somewhere. little bit, maybe. Yeah. Also, I can talk for myself. Maybe a little bit of like, well, I'm gonna... It's gonna be fine anyway. While mm-hmm. you maybe have understood a little bit more, yeah, but you just gotta f- fight for it all the time. Which yeah. is the definition of the law of, of helping the law of attraction, I think. Mm, yeah, 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 you're right. Well, thank you. I'm very, like, that means a lot to me that you noticed that. Because it. Yeah. Is, I don't know if it's like, I think it's something that I've had to learn and really see the importance of. Because we both grew up with bipolar mothers. and um, But for my growing up situation specifically, I don't feel like I had a lot of examples of people thinking positively or realizing the power that our minds have. Um, My mom did really encourage me, but it was like, I figured out that I had to like really believe in myself and match that with work to like be a healthier person. And I feel the healthiest and like most connected to life when I'm doing what I love. And I've been lucky enough to know what I love since I've been like a little kid. Which is amazing in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I think that the more therapy I've done, the more I've realized like, oh my God, like our minds have so much power. And Mm -hmm. if we don't take the reins of them, they can really like make life terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to beat myself suffer. up for a while now because you told me that. Oh, don't lift him up. Lift him <laughs> no, up. You know, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You but guys no, compliment it's, it's each good other. To, no, it's good to know because. I think this is a I know it about thing. myself. I think, I think a, I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, correct it without being like, stupid you. What are you doing? Oh, oh, I see. I have like fits and starts of like productivity. Um, and maybe it's because I don't know how to keep my eye on the prize i don't know <laughs> or i don't know how to necessarily feel like my my desires are um are are worth it mm. okay what do you mean like like who am i to right. want all this you know oh, what i mean interesting you know well, then like, we're not the same then you're much better than me because <laughs> yeah. you're like i deserve this. i i deserve this yeah 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 I think that may be I, your family and I mean, there might be like a mixture of the I two. Feel awful. You know, awful. no, I might. I, I feel like there might be a mixture of the two. I mean, I might feel like I deserve this, but then I correct myself and be like, "You don't deserve anything." You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Like you have the ability to do this, but do you really want to make other people feel uncomfortable with that confidence level? Oh, I see. But you know that, what I mean? That, that I think is, is your family, it. and I think yeah. that's from their faith too. Because oh, really? it, as a good Christian, especially in the South, I feel like we're taught be humble. Don't you dare be prideful. Oh, that's arrogant. Really? Yeah, that's totally. arrogant. Yeah, yeah. And it's almost arrogant to have dreams outside of the church. See, this just is just moving to LA to to pursue acting right. and, and writing and directing and and every other thing I do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> was like triple threat was already like leaving the church right you know right. what i mean it was already falling off the deep end and f- and going selfish. after your selfish desires it's and, selfish to be an artist and you feel selfish at times now uh do you feel like less you don't but des- yeah i do so you feel like you don't deserve it more than another person that does pretty much the same you do I feel it. Le- do I f- deserve it less? Yeah. Do you? Feel no. I, I just think that they've overcome it. Like I'm, I am in admiration of people that, like, even people that are like TikTok famous. I'm like, man, you really got over that oh, fear I real see. quick. Of like, being you perceived. do not give a shit what I think or what your parents think or what your friends think. You're just getting rich on TikTok right now because you can. But my and, and that's that's a confidence level that like I'm like, whoa. I feel like I was there in college. I did not give a shit. Right, right. I did not give a <laughs> yeah, shit. Okay. And then something happened, <laughs> okay, maybe when I came out here. No, in life, it, yeah. It just life yeah, hit yeah, yeah, me yeah. like a ton of bricks, and I was just like, oh, 
Maybe I'm not that cool guy in college anymore. <laughs> well, you're not. We're not in college anymore. But if I can speak to both I'm the of same guy. Yeah, okay? I know. <laughs> always been the same guy. I will always be Micah. But if I can speak to both of you guys, first of all, you can feel like you can look at other people who you think are super confident or have gotten over these things, but you guys both make a lot of art. You put it out there and share it with people. So like, how are you any different from like, we're putting other people on pedestals, but like you're also being very brave and confident in creating work and pursuing this stuff. And, and that's what I think um, we have. And that, that I know for sure, especially with you is that you know what's good or not in terms of your stuff. It's not yeah. like when you make it and you go and ask a million people, what do you think? And actually you just pick. Uh-huh. When you yeah. look at an edit, you're like, and I know what I'm trying to achieve. Yeah. I might not get there, but I, I know what yeah, I'm... No, not, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still haven't gotten yeah. there. I mean, either, but... I, I, I love making decisions. Yes. Yeah. That's what, that's, yeah. yes. Do you edit your work? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so similar. Oh, so so you guys yeah. are clear. Michael is a brilliant filmmaker, yes. writer, director, wow. I guess editor. I don't Acclaimed. know all the things you do. We met him at a film festival. They we screened uh, their latest feature. Feature film. Love Actually. Love Possibly. Love possibly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love Actually. It's you actually were here with the director of Love Actually. The re-release actually. of Love Actually. I wish, but it wasn't Love Actually. It was the lesser known Love Possibly, mm. which is on a billboard in uh, Times Square right now. Oh, beautiful. It was so funny. What? We went into Instagram just to put in hashtag Times Square, and I see this guy just looking super cool. And in the background, just see love possibly on a no poster. No way. But you can't. Did you tag yourself in it? How much I, did that cost you? <sighs> did you pay for it or is somebody else marketing it? Well, yeah, let me put it this way. It's good my daughter uh, only needs breast milk mm. for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You've got a year or so at least. Or at least. Um, so is there going to be a follow-up? Love probably? Love and, uh, not going to happen is coming. <laughs> Uh, no, it isn't. I am pretty much done with Love that. yourself? Love myself <laughs> and not thy neighbor. Atheist. Um, no, we're done with that. However, I love the character and we wanted to, and we wrote a pilot. Mm, yes. And we're still trying to get it uh, made into a series, which is going okay. All the executives okay. listening, please reach out. <laughs> and it's on, you can contact me on anabob.com. And... Um, no, so we're still trying to do that, yeah. uh, but that's kind of just going. But then uh, other than that, we're just writing another short um, based on my dad, kind of the story I was telling you oh, about. Oh, that's great. Cool. And so you have some nuns in it? So we got some nuns. Oh, I, man, so many nuns. I can great. be a nun. Yeah. I'm very holy. <laughs> a young in nun. In the 1940s Italian? I can, mm. I can I learn Italian. <laughs> This is what There's I mean. What do you that? say? <laughs> this is what I mean. She's down. <laughs> it's amazing. I can speak Italian, yeah. There's apps now. It's there are. There's, yeah. there's voiceovers as well. Wow. And oh, dubbing. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, there You're you like, go. You're like, how do I move my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of hand movement. Um... Please, I mean, I've been... Yeah, and that's another thing that we should talk about, that we need to do something. Yeah, something. we should make yeah. a movie together or something. For sure. Um, I just got laid off, so it's a perfect time. I don't have a day job and so I qualify cool. for unemployment yeah. for a while so I can just write and make things. I'm sorry that I'm so excited. But no, it's good. okay. I'm excited now. I, was, I cried enough. for a day, was afraid and like yeah. got very confused by the unemployment website, but we're all good now. Right. Yeah. Now we have, you know, the internet to reach out to and just support us for the rest of our lives. <laughs> That's what it's here for. Yeah. yeah. And this as well. I'm banking on you. I'm banking on this, to be honest. That's how much I got going on. Yeah. That I need right now. Yes. I, I'm going to go home and wait. For yeah. this to come out? If for you to invite me back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, this, okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. So, for this to go viral? Please. <laughs> yes, it will. It will go viral. Um, I do wonder when, when your baby came to the world. What is your baby's name? <sighs> Can you say it? <laughs> For okay, so you don't have to say no, no, you're gonna or did you forget? so no, we're gonna hate it. You're like ashamed no. of your face. <laughs> I don't know what your thoughts are right now. What could it be that I'm ash slightly ashamed of my baby's name? So, my name is Michael, right? Michaela, her name is Michaela. Oh, wow, do you think I, you I seem it. like really into yourself that you would name your baby after you? Yeah. No. I mean, was so, this a joint decision or were you like, this is what we do in our family? <laughs> 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 I 
No, she had a choice. She had a choice. Um, and she chose the right one. You're like, I married you. You better let me name the child. She knew what was the right thing to do. She could see it in my eyes. Um, no, I actually, so it was between a few different names and then one of them with Michaela. And I said, this is, people are going to just look at me like, oh, you, oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. You really, you really think people would do that? Oh yeah. Every, that's. Is that I, what the people do where you're from? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, okay. You named well, that's why I was surprised about you talking about the South that you have to be humble. In Norway, we have a law that we teach our children at school that is called Jantelöven. Check it out. And it's basically... Loathe thyself. <laughs> don't think you're better than anyone else. Don't Ooh. think that you are a smarter, funnier, uh, just like media... How do I define I mean, Scandinavia? It, it's Mediocre. Not a ba- it's not a bad, like... Don't think you're better than anybody else it isn't necessarily like you can't be your best self and leave everybody in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on what what the dynamic is. Mm-hmm. If you're in a, in a society where everyone's like, oh, mm, king of the castle, king of the castle, yeah. <laughs> then maybe you should uh, be a little bit humble. But if everyone's already humble and depressed and quiet, yeah, and yeah. then you go just next generation and next generation, then it's like everyone's... And if you see Scandinavians, a lot of them are like, hello. Docile. Like is it just, hello? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of great artists coming out from there, but I think... Um, those are the creators. Most Scandinavians are very polite and nice. You think the artists are like rebellious? Yes, hundred yeah. percent. A lot yeah. of good music coming out of like Sweden and Norway. Number one export in Sweden. Yeah, what is that about? Because they just really um, they like pride themselves in it. They really encourage it in the school. Or also, I think remember that uh, good music, by your definition, is also music that you can understand in English. That's true. We so speak that means that Swedish people are so popular. Oh, they're great at music, but there's loads of people all around the world that are good at music. The only thing mm-hmm. that the Swedish people do is that they do it in English. So that they it, understand. it actually yeah. comes out here. So they encourage their kids to like, hey, learn English and for then this sell market. your music. Because we're guys. shit. So go over there yeah. and be like them. Yeah. And just infiltrate, and which we have done pretty well. There was no very, now there's more of our own shows and cultures and films. But in Norway, I was raised just watching like American shows mm-hmm. and films, mm-hmm. subtitled. Mm-hmm. So a lot of Scandinavians have this kind of sometimes they sound American, but they're mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and they're very, in Italy, if you Because they watch so much television. Is that how they yes. learn English? Yes. Yes. So it's not even like, you don't even have to go to school for it to they, they pick do, up on it. They do start quite early in school as well, but mainly because of culture and we want to become you. We oh, want to wow. become... That's so bad. American? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty... And that's why... Currently I, still? Yeah, 100%. Okay. So bad, and this I hate, that now we're making films sometimes and the language is in English. Norwegian films. Norwegian films. In English. Whoa. There's a show called Norsemen that's a parody of like Vikings. Mm. It's really funny. You should check it out. And there's like, it's like if we would live in the Viking times. So it's oh, like, yeah. let's go and, and uh, let's go and fight. And then there's one guy that's like us. And he's like, yeah, I'm just going to chill today. <laughs> I don't really feel like leaving the house. So it's super funny. But that show, they shot it in Norwegian and English. because Whoa, same actors? Same actors, same scene, everything. Wow. Why? Because the industry here is like uh, subtitles. Ooh. Hopefully that's changing now. Well, Parasite. Parasite. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was amazing. That was yeah. amazing. I wouldn't. Count I mean, I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that movie might actually reach more people than Parasite. I don't know. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what producers say. I mean, you're talking about, I don't know how many general public people are going to watch Parasite and read it, even though it is the greatest film of the year. I know, I know. And that's, that's what's, that's the there's thing. there's a little effort. Mm-hmm. I love Americans and I love, this is going to be a but, I love <laughs> Americans and I love British, but sometimes I wish they understood how much the rest of the world has to work mm. to connect with you and with British. Mm. You guys don't have to do anything. You're yeah, just, it's like kind of all about us, me. which is... Like I do feel, what we're taught. <laughs> and which is fair, and you don't have to learn another language because we learn your language. I want to though. I yeah no, there is a, a want to. Not that we've 
taken any actions towards that. It's not like no. we're taking lessons the or anything, but I wish our education system was more a truthful in our classes. Yeah. And like we learned world history and our history, honestly, and yeah. not, and also I wish that language and learning about other cultures was more encouraged. Well, also because I think times are changing and I think there will be uh, at some point where everything kind of swaps, China's becoming quite big, Asia's becoming stronger. Mm -hmm. I think once we lose pop culture in the Western world, mm -hmm. we're fucked. Because there we've got, we can't compete in the industry sector. No, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Mm -hmm. And then all we have now is like, okay, they are produce loads of things that we even buy there because they're cheaper and uh, better. But then they still like, yeah, but we still look at Justin Bieber and buy like Versace. Uh -huh. But the day they get their own, which they already have, Green really, Bob. Yeah. You know, that's going to kill us. It, I, <laughs> yeah. And it, there is a part of me that just goes, um, fair enough. Yeah. And it was about time. <laughs> it's through entertainment that yeah. America falls. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, mean, look, look at look I mean, yeah, look at our right current now. entertainment leader. Oh yeah, All great right, yeah. great show, great show, great ratings. Um, I do want to ask you about your kid. I know I keep saying go this. do it, do it, do it. The moment that she was born, yeah, was there like a a God experience? If you could like label it such, you don't have to call it God. Yeah, because we hate God here. No, no, but the term can be limiting <laughs> if you don't yeah. identify with like a defined God. Sure, I sure. It. Spirit, I'll meet universe. you halfway okay. all day. Tinkerbell. Um, Did you have a Tinkerbell moment? I loved, do you? I loved Oh my God, just which let is let not right. the question. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, yes, I feel like, but I already felt that when she was pregnant. Mm. Um, everyone says, oh, once you hold her, mm. this is going to sound awful. Once you hold your baby in your arms for the first time, your life going to change. <laughs> it already had That's changed. Insane. Yeah. It had already changed. Yeah. And, and it, it just made it even clearer. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was amazing to not have to think about myself first anymore because sometimes I don't care about myself enough to be excited to mm. live. Oh, that sounds really dark. It's good to say though. You got to get it out to get over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's true. And you're not alone. Relate. Like people yeah. listening are going to be like, <sighs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good. Cause I'm happy, but I definitely felt that. Yeah. And once I had her, I was like, oh, this is delightful. Oh, this yeah. is great. And I have, so I'm a guy that has a lot of love to give. And in a relationship mm -hmm. with someone else, they can always leave you. You know what? With a, <laughs> with a, with a child, um, they can, I mean, I guess they can, but, um, chances it, are, it, chances are they won't. And it doesn't really matter even if they do, because just be I, a good dad. Huh? I'll just love her. Just like, Oh, I have Aww. just have so much. Um, and it feels really nice. And actually I thought, Oh man, it's gonna, my career was gonna, <laughs> I won't um, get hired because they'll know I have a baby. I'll hide, hide her, hide her. <laughs> <laughs> Put her in your purse. <laughs> and uh, she would fit as well. <laughs> but um, actually, I'm like, no, I'm just going to work harder now. And there's mm. a purpose. Yeah, yeah. There is a part of me that's like, I need a baby, so I'll just like kick <laughs> myself into gear. Oh my God, I've never it's, heard but that we don't need come that. out of his mouth. No, I don't. I'm not, because I would never say it. It's easy. What is no, that show? It's Sharon easy to make. Horgan, what's the show? Catastrophe. I don't know if you've oh, seen yeah, it. Oh yeah, I love that, yeah. So I read an interview with her and she has kids and right. she talked about how she actually Gosh, became more did. productive when she had kids because she's like, I only have certain hours of the day that right. I can work, so I better fucking write during yeah. those hours because yeah. these other hours I have to take care of my children. And yes. She read so. Tim Ferriss's four-hour work week and she was so, like, yeah. I got this. <laughs> yeah. So I get that. That's cool. Well, because also before when I, I don't know about you guys, but I would go like, oh, sometimes, okay, now I'm not working, whatever I'm supposed to do to <laughs> pay my bills. Now I can write and then you go, but I'm really tired. I want to watch a show or something. Now mm. that option is gone. Yeah. Um, 
uh, yeah. because and then at any moment she just and this is how she, she's sleeping she's peacefully like this and I look at her and this is amazing and then suddenly she goes and at that point I know she next two hours fidget. two hours are gone mm. <laughs> and it goes from like this and I, and I just can see just my creative freedom just slip away <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> in her eyes uh-huh. and she goes oh, tastes so good <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's hey it's still worth it sometimes I'm I'm holding her and I have like a meeting with a client like this y- you have clients you know what I mean like yeah. you're doing fine I do yeah <laughs> well yeah I do have clients <laughs> I do have that's clients. good that yeah. sounds official I'm not I'm not doing something completely different on the side which I think is amazing enough mm-hmm. i don't have to i cannot complain mm-hmm. everything is related to film mm-hmm. or yeah. writing ish mm-hmm. uh, or shooting something or within film mm-hmm. yeah yeah so that i'm so happy yeah that is something to be grateful for because you're still like learning things or working yeah. in something related to what you really love which will hopefully like make you stronger in the things that you do Ex- make exactly. on your own for your love. Yes. Um, so I want to ask a question about you and your wife. So you guys had a wedding? So we had a very quick... Um, we Shotgun didn't, wedding. <laughs> My guess. Such did, an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I do like your honesty. It makes me feel good because it just... Oh, I can relax now. Yes, it was a shotgun wedding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, but let's... Uh, no, but... Um, it w- well, I don't know if you call it shotgun. It was just like immediately uh, yeah. after the baby. So... Oh, the baby was here? Uh, after we knew she was pregnant, okay. basically. So, um, yeah, it, we just went to the city. It, so it was... We had to do it for a number of different reasons. So I didn't have to go back and forth mm-hmm. all yeah. the time. Uh, so we got married so I could stay. But we do truly love each other, just in case there's any... Question? <laughs> questions or legalities. Or, yeah. Um, so technically, I'm, I'm allowed to be here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so did her dad officiate, or was he there, or was it he was just there. you at the courthouse? They were there. They were just amazing. No, they were there. Um, was there God? If he was there, in was the, it in, like, like in, in the ceremony? In part of the ceremony like, was it like biblical? What, what was the city? So it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. That was. We went to the. <laughs> we went into the clerk standing line. Uh-huh. Go, uh, uh, what are you doing? Getting married today? Fair enough. Sign the papers, and we're like, oh. Uh, in a suit and she has a dress on but it looks like we're just filing our taxes <laughs> and then the ladies like, and then we're like oh we're getting oh we're really excited and she's like and then she's just, just not. the best part is okay just go into that room which is the chapel which mm-hmm. is just like a conference room mm-hmm. they have an arch to be mm-hmm. fair a white okay. arch which is nice it's fancy I treat her like a princess. My wife. <laughs> you carried uh, her across the threshold, yes. Well, she walked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of. And then she goes, just go into the chapel. And it's like, okay, cool. We go into the chapel. She let it, go into the chapel and uh, someone will come in. We go in and we wait. And then from another door, she comes in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the same woman that did not care about us getting married and just wanted us to sign the papers. And she put this robe on. You saw her put it on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She could have put (laughs) it on before. (laughs) That's what I thought as well. Did she change her demeanor? She's like, the couple. (laughs) Oh, no. Well, she got more annoyed. Oh, wow. So, she, no, I mean, she wasn't annoyed. She was just like, I hate marriage. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I got people that need driver's licenses and stuff. Oh, no. So, we do the thing, but it, what was amazing what was we do the thing, and it, it got quite uh, emotional, you know? It was getting married. It's pretty uh, serious. It's pretty serious. And then after that, we're like, oh, my God, thanks. Like, do you mind taking a picture? We said to her. So, all was there, her parents and her sister. And I was like, oh, this is so nice. Yeah. And then one, two, three. And they were like, and then can you take another one? You do need to go because there is another one, another couple coming in here. Fair enough. So she gave back the phone. 
Um, and when then we went to the Cheesecake Factory and had a lovely time. Oh and we went to Disneyland. <gasps> oh wow! Wow, oh, that is a truly American. Yeah, day. you did it. I was magical. It yeah. was magical. Congratulations. And thank friend. you. But we will still have a wedding, which oh. I've asked to do in Italy. Oh, okay, nice. it's fun. Uh, so we're going to do as soon as I'm allowed to leave, uh, we're going to go back to Italy. That would be, be nice. awesome. Yeah, so that's going to be really nice. Um, so hoping that I get to leave soon. So yeah. probably autumn. Yeah. Oh, September. wow. Yeah. Very Fingers cool. Fingers crossed. What an exciting yeah. time. A, bun- a lot of change. A lot of change. Yeah. Um, and you're Christian now, so that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did have another question. Understood. Have you accepted yeah. Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Or would you like to do that right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, it is, uh, practically, what do I have to do? It is simple as as just as you thought, as your mom thinks it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much just this, say, yep. And then... This is my mom in the morning. I think anyone should be able to believe in whatever they want, and I don't really believe in God. And now we're into the service. Ten minutes into the service, everyone's singing and having a good time. She's like, I think I believe. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> she is cute. That's that's what exactly. Was what she, she being funny or was she being serious? No, she's being serious. And that's the thing that she's so kind. But then I, I told she's her like, that. These people make me believe. Yes. I- well, see, I think that's the power of, like, positive energy. You know what I mean? Like, that's the power of, like... You know, you know, if you get a room full of people that are believing in the secret, yeah, they'll achieve it. Whatever it is, whatever they well done. believe in, well done. they'll get it done. And the loving, I mean, so much love. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But what I definitely believe in now is marriage. Yeah. Ooh. So Convince us. Having... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, we're starting to not believe in it anymore. I don't know if it's real. No, we're, no, we're no, joking. No, we well, you no, look so I, concerned. I don't know if no, I, no. I don't know if I understand it in the way that you're understanding it. So, oh, the marriage part. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, the always being the 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 unconditional. I'm here for you, thick and thin. That kind of thing. The union. And that's what I heard before, which still makes sense. You don't have to be married or like mm-hmm. religious to do like, oh, you have to take care of each other and really believe in each other, blah, 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 which is good. And I believe in that as well. What if kind of things happen and you fall out of love or something happens and then you, and then somebody said something that was a little bit harsh, uh, but I thought was okay. <laughs> he was like. Because we went to, oh, that's another story. We went to like a Christian weekend, uh-huh. a weekend to remember. It's yeah. What? Do you this remember a retreat? It? Yeah. W- who did you go with? Well, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Was it for couples only? <laughs> yup. For I, lovers only. For lovers only. I want only. to hear all about it. Anyway, so there was one sentence that he said, a lot of crazy, but a lot of good things as well. But one thing that he said that I never thought I would uh, resonate with, and I kind of did, was in marriage... Divorce is a not an option. Huh. And I was like, calm down, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that was my first. Don't tell me Don't what my options tell are. Me <laughs> <laughs> my option. You'll I've seen see. pretty big examples of going <laughs> quite contrary to what you're saying, sir. <laughs> I can list them all you want. And then and then I was like, what is he trying to say? And then he just continued talking. He's like if it is, then of course, um, any reason could be that you leave each other. Now, the concept of marriage is that you promise each other that you won't. So if you make that promise in the beginning, then might as well commit to not having divorce as an option in the middle, which will last forever. Because mm. any problem that you have, you will never go to the, oh, I, uh, I think I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to do that. So all the things, the way you solve things is maybe I need a weekend by myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I need to say that this is really not cool with me. Right. Yeah. And I think then both parties start to adapt to what's cool with you. Yeah. yeah. In Scandinavia, it's like in a, in a relationship... Uh, now I'm generalizing, but what I felt a lot of times is that in a relationship or in a marriage is like, whew, I, I wonder what you're going to do now that's going to piss me off, that's going to make me leave you. 
Mm. And bloody watch out. Yeah. Because I will. Yeah. And then the other person. Because I'm yeah. better than you. Because <laughs> I'm better than you. And but yeah. not better than anybody else. Because <laughs> yeah. I was taught that. And that's not. But I know there's something but, really yeah. low about you. <laughs> that's why I but chose you, actually. Piece of shit. Yeah. Um, so, and, the, and everyone's just like ready to pull the trigger of mm. leaving or mm-hmm. divorce. It's like, oh. And also, I think that's because of fear. Because sure. you're like, oh my gosh, he might not, or he might not love me anymore. Yeah. And then I'm going to find a reason. Well, actually, you're a piece of shit anyway. Mm. But so this guy was like, marriage, uh, uh, divorce is not an option. I was like, that's bonkers. And then I was like, hmm. Well, I could at least think like that mm-hmm. in terms of how I solve our problems from my end. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if I don't, sometimes you can drift away and think (laughs) what about me taking a couple of years with a backpack in South America? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And a lot of parents do. um, You could take a baby there. Yeah. And a wife. And some parents go without the baby, which is horrible. Mm. And that's when I started realizing, and actually I have people in my family that have done that. And mm-hmm. that's why I'm very sensitive to I can never leave my children mm-hmm. uh, because I've seen this and I've actually taken care of people in my family um, to a certain extent because other family members have just left. Mm-hmm. And then I started analyzing that and it's probably because they were like, oh, I, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> How do I have a better time? Ooh, right. Leave it. But if I just decide, well, that's not an option, how can I solve it then? Oh, maybe in another way, just a weekend or a kickboxing or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you're into kickboxing? I fight a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. You got to wrestle with those demons, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, but I totally get what you're saying. So both of our parents got divorced. It's not like we have a lot of great examples okay. of marriages okay. or like healthy relationships. So, and when we got engaged, actually a friend of ours, this couple's now divorced, which is ironic, but she said kind of the same thing to me. She was like, the great thing about being married is that like, there's, there's no exit plan. So yeah. like you have to figure things out. Like yeah. there is no divorce. It's ironic now because they are divorced. I don't even but know who this is. Oh. She, she's gay. Well, that's an that's exception. Different. That's yeah. fair enough. You'll it figure is, it out. It is different, but... um. <laughs> Why would she say that to you? I don't know she why she said like it to me. She out the door. And but did she know? Well, I guess she knew already. But I don't, I mean. I don't know. I can't speak for her. What's her name? No. I'm <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> we'll call her. We'll call her up. But Tell us your story. I did, I did feel that in our relationship when we got married or when we were talking, like leading up to our marriage. I do feel like there's a mental shift because you're absolutely right. In all relationships prior there can always be a point where you're like, no, I'm done. Like, I don't want to deal with your shit or I don't want to deal with you calling me out on my shit. So I'm just going to say like, you know, this isn't working anymore. And yeah. So you just got to find somebody that doesn't call you out on your shit. No, I think you. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a lot of shit. No. I Keely and I's like life's work is about that. <laughs> calling each other out on your shit and be like, damn it. I wish you just wouldn't call me out for once. But do you appreciate when, okay, let's start with, do you appreciate when he calls you out on your shit? Yeah. I mean, not in the moment. No, fair enough. Like, (laughs) you know, sometimes she's really good at like (laughs) refuting it in the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) Like it's almost like she doesn't believe in it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. It's like, I'm going to give you a minute (laughs) to let this process. And then you're like making it worse. I mean, sometimes when you're just like really like, I don't know, re- reliving your trauma or like being triggered or you're just a total no, asshole, you can't really hear enough. somebody calling you out and then it, you just make it worse. Right. But then once I come back to being able to become aware of myself and what was happening, I normally am like, thank you. And I'm sorry. Right. But, I'm similar. Um, I'm similar. I, I deny it for a while. I think it's human I think everyone nature. Does. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. do you do I think it's because you don't want your partner who you want to love you unconditionally to think like, hey, there's something really fucked up about you yes. and it's broken as shit. That's interesting. <laughs> I never thought of it. So then because we think, oh, they won't like us 
because of that fact, but all the other person needs is for you to acknowledge that so then Mm -hmm. we can move Mm -hmm. on. Uh And also I think love is helping each other be your best selves, which means being very honest when you're like, hey, you're not being who you said you wanted to be or this way that you're behaving or how you're speaking isn't reflective of like who I know you to be or, you know, who you want to be. So, Well, the worst part is uh, the person you portrayed... Mm. That you were, oh, yeah. you're not that at all. Um, but I guess you guys are past that point. Oh yeah, I and mean, it's a lot of therapy. With most and, of it, yeah. I mean, but it but took time for five us years into marriage, yeah. seven to, like, years into knowing each other. Start to take we fully take still... off the masks. Oh, it's five years. Ma- well, no, we're about to be. We're about to be married for seven years. But I will say, it took many years for us to like. Even though we like we're best friends and we feel very safe with each other, there are still certain things, and I can speak for myself, but I think you really that we were afraid to reveal to each other because we didn't want to be judged, mm. and they're like totally normal human things, but we were used to conditions mm. for people's love, whether that's like through parents or an unhealthy relationship with a religion. Yeah. 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 Which and I think so, is part of why we're doing this is just like, how can you have a healthy relationship with yeah. the unknown mm-hmm. and not feel forever um, in a place of, will I lose this? Will I lose this relationship yes. with my creator if there yeah. is one? For being myself. Wow. W- will this creator stop loving me? Wow. Because okay. that's why we stepped away from organized religion and from being very literal or like fundamentalist or or like, yeah, being okay with that because that's what's so bothersome about how some people practice Christianity and some of the things in the Bible that bother us are mm. these conditions on what's supposed to be an unconditional love. Either it's unconditional or it's not. Mm. You can't say God is love. Meanwhile, if you are gay, you're going to hell. Mm. That's not love. Mm. You can't say, you know, God is love, but if you touch yourself, like you make Jesus cry. Mm. What? That's not love. Like, does that happen? Does that happen? What? You're in trouble, huh? <laughs> Jesus probably cried so much He's watching miserable. you. <laughs> okay. No, but so do do you feel like you had to distance yourself from? I don't know if you did, but religion or wherever you came from, to save yourselves. Yeah. As yeah. a couple. To, be, to, to become ourselves. I, th- I think we were already there when we met each other. We right. had gone through our very religious stages. Right. Um, and had like stepped away from it. And each of us were like, you know, you always are trying to figure out what you believe. But, we, you know, a lot of things didn't sit right with us about... Um, so a the, decade of observation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the wow. hypocrisy and like the fine print and the conditions, but we still were like wrestling with things like shame lingered in me and still lingers in me from things that I was taught as a child and a teenager about what it means to be a person or a woman or how a woman should mm. be. And, and what or a, a woman as described by yeah, Proverbs 31 religion. Right. Which is very different for everybody, you know. I mean, I think that... And culture as well, where you're yeah. from, specifically mm-hmm. where you're from. So it's been a process of us, like, shedding these expectations and being like, are we safe enough to be ourselves? And you guys, I mean, I don't know if... You guys were young, in my eyes, in terms of... To get married? To get oh, married, yeah. I mean, I was right? 23. I look at 23-year-olds now. I'm only 30, but I'm like, you guys are still figuring everything yeah. out, Yeah, you know, yeah. in your early 20s. I would say well done for still just being alive, number uh-huh. one. Yeah, yeah. We did it. and not and having killed, killed each, each other. other. Um, and uh, just for, I mean, I, I don't know what kind of bond, because I, I will never be able to experience that with my wife because we met each other at 32. Mm. Um, but yeah, that must be quite amazing and very different. So when you talk about marriage, it's so different. Mm-hmm. From from couples to couples, because you guys have a completely like we. Uh, I think Sarah Silverman had like a bit where the, she said, "When I get into a relationship, I want to come home." And she's like, "Not come home, but to like uh, come <laughs> to, to arrive home to arrive home." <laughs> yeah. oh. All over my face, yeah. Uh, no, to 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 be uh, like a 
Loved that joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy's speck of dust. Check it out. It's really good. I'm supposed to be promoting my show as well. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's going to well, look hurry, do it quick because we're running out of time. People are losing <laughs> no, patience. Right. But... Anna Actually, uh, we're on Amazon Prime. Oh, your oh, movie, with... Love yes. Plus, Love Possibly. I said Plausibly. We're just really Plausibly fucking Love. Pretty. That's actually better <laughs> title. <Love> possibly. <laughs> um, yes, Love Possibly, Amazon Prime. We'll share the link in Thank this. Thank you. Ends. Thank you. Yeah, we will. Anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, but yeah. Marriage, you're saying is so different for you. Well, yes. Yeah. So it's just, uh, anyway, I really respect um, what, oh yeah, coming hold. <laughs> that, <you're, laughs> that you are a little bit more developed as an individual when you enter a relationship. Mm. Mm. So you don't have to come in, because we always are going to lie a little bit about who we are in the beginning, no matter what age. But at mm. 20, you don't fucking know who you mm. are at all. Yeah. So yeah. everyone's just lying. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you go like, oh, hey, you weren't that. And then it's like, I don't know who I am. I, me neither. You, uh, I'm a piece of shit. You like your dad. No, I'm not. Um, this is not a real conversation. That I've had. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I think everybody's I, had this conversation right? <laughs> in a relationship. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Therapy has really helped us. But we did like, because we've known each other and we met when we were younger, we have kind of had to grow up together. And Mike is five years older than me. So a lot of times he was like, you need to grow up. And I was like, fuck you. You don't know me. But, um, (laughs) we do. And I was mature. (laughs) Thank you. And I still am. But I read this. No, that was a physical dig. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone improves with personal development. And I'm lucky to have a partner that has encouraged me to continue to develop personally. Oh, and you. he's the reason we did, you know, we got into therapy. It's not like I had a... Yeah, I made us go to a couple's therapy before we got married. Wow. Yeah. Well done. I was like, we going to need this. <laughs> 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 and was it, was it, um, I mean, completely unrelated, but uh, was it expensive? Uh, we went to a sliding scale place. So no, actually, we went to a place in Los Angeles. If you're in Los Angeles and you need sliding scale uh, therapy. There's a place called Maple Center and okay. they will work with you with your budget. We were doing individual therapy each and couples therapy. And I think we were paying like a hundred bucks a month. Okay. It's, so you tell them basically what you can afford. Right. And it's a training institute. So you're working with therapists who are having to get their hours. Right. But they're still so like they're very unqualified. People. No, no. I'm still with my therapist that I met there and I've been with her for like five or six years. Right. But they get like a fixed salary because this is... I don't even think they get paid. That's amazing. Okay. So this is the thing. In, in Scandinavia or in Norway, uh, we have uh, free healthcare. I don't want to like... Brag right. about, it. about it, but it, I just did. promote it, guys. Free healthcare, it Love could be possibly. you. Um, no, so I remember when I was like depressed. Um, that's awful. You just quoted depressed as if, <laughs> but it you was weren't a little depressed. Bit, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was depressed, but it wasn't like that. And like, oh, look at me. I'm so sorry. Feel sorry about me. But so, there, it's a it's a spectrum. Yeah, it is. So but, be but, kind to yourself. But what I felt like because of those years, actually, uh, it was those years I was doing that experiment that I guess. Oh I was yeah, telling you about mm-hmm. of doing nothing. So, um, and I went to a psychiatrist that cost a bunch of money. And didn't help and got even poorer. And then that this was in um, Italy. And then I went to um, Norway. And there everything's free. And I went to a psychiatrist. And he gets a fixed salary. So he doesn't need me to come back. Mm-hmm. He actually wants me to leave as soon as possible. Interesting. And he goes, lets me talk and talk. And it's my mother's fault. And I feel, I feel... I think there's something about me and that there's an illness and I need to take some medicine and just diagnose me. You know, and I just talk and talk. One session I had. One session. At the end of the session, yeah. Right. So right now, you seem to be swimming in a pool of shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Great. I probably shouldn't, but <laughs> you seem to swim in a pool of shit now. You can keep swimming in it. It's mm-hmm. fine mm-hmm. if you want to. And staying in it, whatever you want. All I'm asking you to do mm-hmm. is sometimes go up and have a shower. <laughs> I was like, and my first instinct was like, probably when you guys call each other out on shit, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, 
I, so I don't have a disease. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was like super embarrassing. He's like, you wanted to be special in that moment. I wanted to be special. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh my God, you have this. Oh yeah. yeah. Like a reason. This yeah. is the reason you swim in shit. This is the reason. We, and it's not your fault and take all these pills and go and tell the whole world about your disease. Mm. Um, that makes you smell like shit. <laughs> you smell like shit. <laughs> and then he went, well, uh, so, I mean, ideally you wouldn't jump in that pool of shit at all anymore. Yeah. But if you want to, just jump back in. Mm. And I was like, so, sorry, what are you trying to... So he said that you're just choosing to focus on really bad things mm -hmm. and then staying there. And then that's what's going to happen more and more and more. So just sometimes don't. <laughs> and I was like, this cannot that's... be legal. This <laughs> cannot mean, this be is professional. Very, this is like the same theology as the secret. He's just doing... He's like, you're living in the bad part of the secret right flip the script right and your life will get better yes and it did and it kind of did yeah, yeah. He, so he it was kind of did he, no well <laughs> then i went down and, uh, no but well, he it, because it is it's a constant it's an it everyday is. reminder we have to do it is to be like i'm not gonna swim in shit today yes mm. i'm gonna take a shower <laughs> and it works yeah it really does work and then the more and then sometimes you wake up not being in the pool of shit and then you go I can jump in and then you go, well, hang on, hang on. And then maybe don't do it. I still like to dip. Yeah. So yeah. Once in a while. A little you hobby. Know, a little yeah, hobby. It's, like but a, yeah. it's an instinct, you know, self-loathing a little bit. But yeah, anyway, so that's why I really like that. Um, so probably that's why it's a very good... I'm not saying that all psychiatrists that take money uh, and a lot of money are bad. I'm just saying that it sounds like if you're going to the same person for a long time and they don't talk to you at all about i don't know practical make, application yeah and make you mm. feel better yeah. something fishy for might sure. be going on yeah mm -hmm. I, I like an active therapist yeah right yeah i think sometimes they're not encouraged to really take an active role but some right. of them will because they're i think they feel like i have something that i, I could <laughs> <laughs> just sounds if I like don't I tell you this. I feel <laughs> like you'll be here for th a thousand years, which is good for me in a way. With that, yeah. Um, I found a new therapist this year, and I really like her. So since we are plugging therapy, yeah. there's this great online resource called OpenPath.org. If you cannot afford full scale therapy, and it's an online one time fee of sixty dollars, and then you get access to a roster of therapists in your area who always keep spots open for sliding scale, and the max you'll pay. I think the scale is like from forty to sixty dollars an wow. appointment, which is amazing. And That's I love my new therapist. Um, work on yourself with therapy it's helpful i think this has been a really good informative podcast yeah and people are going to benefit so. from this hopefully so. so i appreciate you being on this yeah, and thank spreading you. thank you such like giving information you know i feel like yeah, you, you're so open i feel like you were on the therapy couch today <laughs> so yeah but you didn't know it you didn't know you were going to be there <laughs> i'm going to walk out now i hope you forgive go, us what the fuck <laughs> just happened <laughs> Uh, because my wife is like, I can't wait to look at it. And I was like, oh, I went there, just something wrong with the cameras. I don't think happened. <laughs> we love you. <clears throat> thank um, you. I thank love you. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations thank on you. Michaela and the wedding. And thank you. What a fun season. And let's make a movie together. Yes. Thank you for listening and watching Backsliders. Now's the part where we um, ask for your help. If you like this podcast, please rate it. Subscribe to it and leave us a review, which means just or a one comment sentence. If you're watching it on YouTube, one mm -hmm. sentence or two. This really helps us show up, so other people can yeah. find us. We love having these conversations. Also, I just feel like I have to say because we said there, there's no reason to leave a marriage if you're ever abused, or you know, you can leave a marriage. We just are saying there's a in good, a, in a good, a good union. Yeah, in a good union, no divorce is like a helpful rule. Anything that I have said is. <laughs> Debatable. Basically we love you debatable. guys. <laughs> we love you. May God bless you and keep you. Good night. Bye. No, I'm not saying that it wasn't real. I'm just saying that you made me feel bad. Don't try making me a better deal. I'm done with you and I'm fine with that and that's bad.